And if we're not back by dawn, call the president. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking exclusively about this Big Buck Hunter machine that I've purchased and modded um, from Arcade One Up. Um, I just want to go through some of the features and some of the changes that I made to this. I will leave in the description also some chapters here so that you can obviously look at the background of my machine but you can also look at the actual install if that's all you're interested in. So check them out below. I watched two videos to learn how to do this. One was by Cool Toy, which I will leave a link down below because he kind of explains how to do the install and stuff, but I'll give you my version of that too. Um, and I also watched um, uh, Kong's Arras video on this same thing, which I will also link below because I watched both of those videos maybe at least 10 times each to while I was thinking about buying this machine and, and looking at how hard it was. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because a couple of people now have asked me. Um, it's not many people, but I'm willing to make a video if uh, anyone wants to know more info about anything in this room. So I hope this is informative. If it is, if there are any gaps still missing at the end of this, please leave it in the comments below and I will um, address it um, as soon as I see the comment. Um, so just an exterior shot here at the moment. Essentially, it's got the standard Big Buck World um, uh, riser. Nothing been done to that. Um, the Big Buck World uh, marquee, which was not a light up marquee, um, which I slotted down here above the riser, um, between the machine and the riser, I should say. Um, on the front here is <laughs> a set of, um, like a, an antlers um, attached to a, um, a fake um, deer. Um, I uh, purchased that off eBay for 30 bucks or something um, and had that sent out. Um, my guns are totally stock. Um, my speakers are not stock, but I'll go into them in a second. Um, that speaker in the middle was like a mono speaker, <clears throat> so I've changed that over, um, but I'll get into that more in a second. Um, on top here, I've got a 42 inch um, Sony um, monitor. Um, now, the key to this was I had to find one that was no greater than 1080p. Um, I'm, I say that because I read a lot of stuff online about um, anything higher than that, like a 4K monitor, um, is doesn't work as well. But I don't know if that's true or not. I just found this one locally, this TV locally, um, on um, Marketplace and bought it for 80 bucks. So the TV um, and the unit itself um, and the deer head, um, essentially, um, so far the guns are stock, as I said. Um, and then on top here, so this is a marquee from an original Big Buck Hunter Pro um, arcade machine. Um, I purchased it online. It was just a weird thing that popped up. I think it was eBay, um, and so I bought that, and that was that cost me like $18 or something, and it actually cost me about $30 to get it shipped here, so it was about $50. Um, but um, yeah, cool, all I did was put a LED, um, a new LED um, strip inside of it. Anyway, I've, I'll, I'll probably replace it at some point. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's, I kind of like the wear and tear of it because it looks like it's come from a real um, arcade, which it has. This height is, and the size of this screen is perfect for basically anyone. So shorter people, taller people can all play this. Um, quite literally, if you're playing this game, Buck Hunter, with a 17 inch screen and you're getting average one, maybe two bucks um, every game um, per, per round. Um, you switch it up to a bigger screen and you'll be getting um, perfect sights straight away. It, it's, it's, it makes that much of a difference to change the size of this screen. I don't know, the 17 was insane. What I wish Arcade One Up would do is put a 17 inch monitor in their machines if they feel like it, but put an HDMI underneath so we can just, at least if we want to, we can switch it out from the PCB to a new monitor. That, that would be cool. But anyway, I, the machine, the game itself is awesome. All the maps on it and stuff are cool. You can see all that online. So I'll get into to this mod um, straight up so I can explain this properly to you. Okay, so let me first say that uh, as no one's looking at the back of this machine, I haven't really tidied it up that much. Um, so please excuse my, my workmanship here. Um, I had to make two cuts into this 
um, one on this side, one on the other side, identical, so I could fit the actual bracket in that mounts the TV. Um, I've got powered from the TV an LED strip um, as well, and then basically it's just HDMI into the PCB there um, inside the actual machine. So let's have a look at that. Um, and look, by the way, you don't actually have to do what I've done here. I wanted the machine, you can see here that the TV basically sits flush with the front of the machine. That's why I cut that in there. You could alternatively put um, a piece of, like you could put brackets on the front of the actual unit and you could then put a, a piece of wood straight down the front here and then you could mount a TV to that and it would be pretty identical. You wouldn't have to um, cut the machine open. I just thought this looked a bit uh, nicer and, and in the end of the day, it fits in there much better. But look, obviously I'm sure people will see this and think it's ugly that I've had to cut the machine and stuff, but I don't really plan on selling this. Um, you know, it, this is a permanent, this one. I love this game, it's too, so, super cool. It's one of the most played games in my arcade, so it's not going anywhere. Um, just here quickly, uh, mounted speakers. So there's um, two, one on each side, obviously. And then um, inside, I've left, um, I have left the, um, the stock um, speaker, the mono speaker, and I've actually got that plugged in um, to this white adapter down here, along with um, a sub and the two speakers that I just showed you. Um, so I've got 3.1, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Um, okay, so here's the PCB, basically, which I've mounted on the side of the machine. Um, now, to get into this, I need to kind of show you more so the actual equipment. So here's the PCB. Now, into the PCB goes this thing, which is the Geekworm HDMI LVDS conversion kit which basically means that you can plug HDMI, which is what that, that uh, cable there with the white tip is. And now I'll just go into a little bit around how to do the actual HDMI conversion. Okay. Um, so, starting off, um, you can order this piece of kit, which I'll leave a link to in the description. However, um, remember that most of these sites um, sell out of these things every now and again. So you may have to just Google the HDMI um, Geekworm LVDS um, converter, but I'll, I'll leave a link below so that you know exactly what you're look, looking for. This is the um, hardware. Um, this hardware essentially is super straightforward to install. Please go and look at the cool toy video that I've left down below because he explains lining up the little dots um, with the correct pins and, and you'll know what I mean when you see it. Essentially the, the, um, the, actual, the actual harness itself um, the needs to go onto the correct in, onto the pins in the correct way. So there's a particular end that has to go down the end of the correct pins. Um, you can see here anyway from some of these pictures what I'm talking about. Um, but basically there's a little red dot that has to go match to pin number one. Um, okay, so um, just follow. That's the only bit of this that's hard. It's the can, putting the dot to the right pin. As long as you do that, which is very easy to do because it's also marked on the PCB itself, um, you can you can do this very easily. Um, and so that's basically once that's plugged in, you're good to go. Um, and then up on the screen, you should get your um, image coming through. Now, the only thing I will say about this that's sort of, uh, well, I don't know if it's just this TV that I bought or whatever, but sometimes I turn the Buck Hunter machine on and the um, screen says um, unsupported um, source and all I have to do is um, turn the TV off and back on and it usually comes up the second time if not maybe three third time or whatever like that but basically it just has to re-engage um, the signal and it, it's like today it turned on straight away this first time um, and, and had was picking up the Buck Hunter machine so you shouldn't have problems I think in the very early days of these, um, I was reading on, on um, I think it was on Discord, there's a Discord about this um, conversion. Heaps of monitors were not working with this. I don't think that's the case anymore because there's, you, when you look at them, they say they'll plug into any TV whatsoever. So yeah, give it a go. Um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. And if you're on the fence about buying this machine, like I said, get it. Do this conversion right out of the box. Um, just figure out how you want to mount the TV. If you've got any questions or I've missed anything, 
please, please, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and I would love to help you because this game is like a, this is a real draw card in here. Um, so I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, yeah, as I said, thanks for watching and, and let me know uh, your thoughts. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye.